Hey what's up guys, Shun here and back for another video and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Android Marshmallow in your Geoni P3. It's a pretty old device but if you're still using it then you might be want to install latest Android version. So in order to install Android Marshmallow in your Geoni P3 you need a couple of things. The first thing is your Geoni P3 device must have TWRP recovery installed. And if you don't have TWRP installed in your Geoni P3, you can watch this video and you can install TWRP recovery in your Geoni P3. After installing TWRP recovery, you need two zip files. The first zip file is of Marshmallow Custom ROM. The second zip file is of GApps to install Google services in your custom ROM. So after you download it, put it in your SD card and here's the next step. So here I have a pretty old Geoni PC smartphone which comes out of the box with MediaTek 1.3 GHz quad-core processor with Cortex A7 architecture uh, and the RAM inside is 512 MB, uh, not even a gig. So anyways we're gonna install the Android Marshmallow inside this Geoni P3 uh, but before we start it's a very important thing guys, before we start there is a very important warning. Whatever I'm showing in this video that I'm installing uh, Android Marshmallow in this Geoni P3 uh, if you're doing the same thing, obviously you're gonna do that. So do it at your own risk. If anything happens to your phone, don't blame me. Do it at your own risk. There might be chances of your phone getting bricked. And if your phone gets bricked, don't blame me, guys. Alright? Alright, so that was a warning. Uh, we are quickly gonna install the end of Marshmallow inside this. So as I already shown you how to install the TWRP recovery. Uh, to install Android Marshmallow, the TWRP recovery is very important. You can't install Android Marshmallow by using CWM recovery or CDR recovery. You only need a TWRP recovery and I already showed you how to do that. So in order to boot into a recovery mode, what you have to do is first of all make sure your phone is properly shut down. And if you're not sure your phone is shut down properly or not, what you can do is you can remove the battery out and you can plug it back in. And then you can press the power button and the volume up button at the same time and hold it for a while uh, till you see the Geoni logo. And as you can see, we have the TWRP 2.8.7.0. As you can see here, we are now in TWRP 2.8.7. By the way, the UI of this TWRP recovery is very unique. It just feel like we are using some kind of application. Anyways, as you can see here, there are a lot of options in this. Install, wipe, backup, restore, mount, file manager, advance, and reboot. So before you click anywhere else, just simply click on backup button. After you tap there, as you can see here, um, before you do anything in the recovery mode, make sure you backup your current ROM or your current data or your current status of your Android phone. So to backup all that, you have to come here. And inside the partitions option, you have to select boot, logo, NVRAM, recovery, and then scroll down and you will see a system and then data. So make sure you select all this, whatever I'm saying, all these options. Make sure to select that and then simply swipe this from left to right to back it up, okay? So after you do the backup, as you can see, it will say successful and then you can uh, go back. Now just tap on the wipe button and then go to the advanced wipe. And in the advanced wipe, what you have to do is you have to select Delvi cache, system cache. Then you have to select the data and turn to it and be very careful guys do not select the external SD card option because that will contain all your backup data and also that will contain uh, your new custom ROM which is uh, Android Marshmallow custom ROM so make sure uh, you do not select the external SD card be very careful on that and after that just slide this bar from left to right uh, to wipe everything <laughs> After wiping, as you can see here, it says wipe is successful. Again, you can go back to the home screen. So the backup is done and the wiping of the data system, everything is done. Now it's time to install the new Marshmallow Custom ROM. So in order to do that, simply click on install button and then you will see SD card and then you have to navigate to the folder where you have your uh, new Marshmallow Custom ROM. For example, if it's in here. Uh, so here I have the Android Marshmallow Custom ROM. You can simply select the Custom ROM and after that slide this bar to install it. After the installation complete, you can tap on Reboot System now and that will reboot your device. Don't worry if your phone uh, is taking time in booting up for the first time, it is a part of a process. So don't worry, all the things are getting installed in your phone. So that's why the first boot always takes time. So don't worry, be patient, wait till the first boot completes.
So after the first boot, now it's time to set up the phone and I'm quickly going to do that. After setting it up, as you can see, there's no Google Play Store and not even any Google services are installed in this custom ROM. So in order to get that, you have to install GFs by using TWRP Recovery again. So power of the device again and uh, reboot into recovery mode by pressing volume up and power button at the same time. So after booting it into recovery mode, just simply tap on install button and then here you will find a GF zip file. Uh, simply tap on that and then slide this bar to install it. Now after the installation, as you can see, it says uh, reboot system so just tap on that to reboot the system so now as you can see here we are back on this custom rom and now hopefully we have the google play store so we're quickly going to go and check it out and as you can see here we have the google app then we have the google play store again and then we also have a voice search so the google services are installed in this uh, custom rom so now you can uh, download apps from google play store and you can properly use this device uh, without any issue. So guys, this is how you install Android Marshmallow in Geone P3. Uh, it's fully functional, it's working fine. And I also did some changes in the launcher that I've installed the Pixel launcher inside this and I've disabled the, uh, the default launcher from the settings and you can also delete the uh, default launcher uh, by downloading an application called Uninstall System Apps. So yeah, now you can enjoy Android Marshmallow in Geone P3. Thank you. That's it guys, thanks for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you really enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button, also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this YouTube channel and if you have any question, any queries or any suggestion, uh, do give us in the YouTube comment section and yeah, I'll see you in my next video, till then take care, have a nice day, peace out guys.